Good evening, Central Indiana, and welcome to Porch Time, Friday Night Edition. Just have some info I want to get out about some of the things we've got going on coming up. And uh, we were going to try to have a show tonight with um, Carl Gilbert about the Bass Fishing Club. What's up, Dalton? But um, the guy's a busy man. I've got a lot of stuff going on, and it was just one of them things where didn't work out, but we we're trying to get him in before Tuesday. They have a uh, event coming up on Tuesday evening, and I was going to try to get him in here to promote that and let everybody know what's going on there, but unfortunately, couldn't do it. <coughs> Not saying it won't happen between now and then, but odds are it's going to be tough for both of us, but we'll maybe not. We'll, we'll try to figure it out, but we'll keep promoting it, and I want real quick, I want to talk about my sponsors. Hello, Teresa. Before we get to the information, of course, we are live at JTH Construction Studio. Contact Joe for all your construction needs, 765-913-8599. American Basement Solutions, that's Mr. Larry Ralph. Get a hold of Larry. Uh, we had winter today, but spring's coming and the rains are going to be moving in. Get this guy to check your crawl space out in your basement. 1-877-409-2837. Fathom Real Estate with... Teresa Masmer, right there. Contact Teresa for all your real estate needs. 765-341-8911. Hello, Karen. Hello, Rich. Hello, Jack. Wellspring, Bob Goodrum's group. They do a lot of work for the homeless in this community. 765-346-6661. Stid's Comfort Systems. Call Caleb Stid at 765-346-0195. And get a system like that, one of the ductless units. I'm telling you, you'll love it. Livewire, get a hold of Tommy for all your electrical consulting. 765 792 4012. What's up, Steve? Wayman's Furniture Appliance and Mattress. Give Mark a call at 765 342 4339. That guy's constantly posting stuff about deals and stuff. If you're not taking advantage of it or shopping local, you should. Wayman's has been a cornerstone for this community for uh, 50 years, probably. The Yard Barber, get a hold of Andrew Payton, 765-318-4108. Hello, Connie. And of course, our gals at Hometown Nutrition, Martinsville, 765-315-0738. Protein shakes, iced coffee, boosted teas, and smoothies. I do like their stuff. Logan's Cosmos, 765-318-3388. And, of course, Drink the Creek, Cedar Creek, 12 concerts, 26 bands starting May 20th. And then you have all the other concerts, which we've gone over, but we will again moving forward. There's Kayla, and I just mentioned hometown. Teresa just had Kayla put in the furnace in a new place. Caleb's a good dude. Does great work. All right, before we get too far into things, I want to first want to talk about the bass stuff. I think this is a hell of an idea. Um, if they'd have had this when I was a kid, I would have definitely done this. Um, and I'm just reading his post. To get everything set up moving forward, we were having a meeting Tuesday, um, February 21st at 6.30 p.m. The meeting will be located at Midwest, uh, Midwest Auction Building, 554 West State Road 42 in Mooresville. That's where he has his auctions. And this is in in direct dealing with the Bass Fishing Club. They're trying to get Morgan County High School Bass Masters. This would have been amazing as a kid. So follow that. Follow Carl Gilbert. Get on there and look at that and support that. That will be something very cool for the kids in this community. And, and like I said, we we're trying to get him on air. Um, he's got a lot going on. Trying to get him on before Tuesday. It may still happen, but we will see. There's a lot of work they got to do in there. And, you know, they're not just dealing with Martinsville. They're Eminence, Monrovia, Mooresville. Trying to get it in all the schools, but maybe get all the schools to be one organization for this. And that would be fun. Right now, we are looking for sponsors and or, I had something on my phone, teams for our golf outing. Um, let me punch it up so I don't make a mistake. Saturday, April 29th, um, scheduled at 12, red shirt 12, start at 1 o'clock. 
at the Fox Cliff Golf Club, same place we had it last year. Porch Time LLC's golf tournament. This is so we can um, give away two $1,000 scholarships to students in Morgan County. <clears throat> this is our third year for doing this. And it, I, of course, I, I cannot remember the individuals. The first year we did it was Dean Roberson's kid got the scholarship. And last year we gave away two, and I cannot remember. So, um, beginning with the graduating class of 2021, Porch Time LLC has provided $1,000 scholarships to students graduating from Morgan County High Schools who exhibits good citizenship and is accepted and in into and intends to pursue a two to four year degree in communications at a vocational tech school or at an accredited college or university. Please contact the Community Foundation of Morgan County for more information regarding this fund. Its requirements and application deadlines. Please help us in our effort to give a student a chance for a brighter future. That's what it's all about. That's why we do this. Um, whole sponsors 225, and then you add a team for 140 after that. So, we have a lot of people want to sign up. Team registration by itself as without a sponsor is 160. So it's easier just to do the sponsorship. And then I think it's 140 after that additional. Golf committee, Corey Baker, Kevin Coriel, Bethany Latham. Now we're a golf committee. Ah, that's good stuff. So we need sponsors. Um, we offer this every year, and only like one individual has ever taken advantage of it, and that is Teresa Mesmer. Show up, excuse me, show up out there. We'll have one of your signs at the holes. Um, we'll interview you. We'll talk to you as we go around the, off and on throughout the day. Teresa tell you, we probably talk to her four or five times that day. Come out and have fun. It's a beautiful course. Doug's done a hell of a job out there. They've made so many improvements, so... Be happy to have you. And I'm getting split up text messages. Anyway, if you're interested in being a sponsor of the whole, get a hold of me. We will gladly get you taken care of and get that set up. If you want to put a team in it, same thing. We've already had, uh, I'd probably say eight to ten teams sign up already and with a couple sponsors. So, uh, I didn't see that. Yes, they have women's been a family. Yes, they have, Connie. Been around forever. Good group of people. I love my sponsors. And I'm telling you, if you're out and about, even if you're not, like if you see Teresa out, Teresa's everywhere. If you see her out, tell her, hey, I heard your ad on porch time. They like to know that. They like to know people are at least listening and they hear what's going on. But I mean, we'd like for you to use them as a real estate or Wayman's or Larry Ralph or Joe or whomever. Those are the big three. Um, the golf outing, St. Patrick's Day, March seventh or yeah, March seventeenth at the Brick House on Main. Haven't got a price on that yet. I got my application. Just need to drop off everything. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, I figured she would be. She enjoys it. She goes out there and spends the whole day. She did at Bluff Creek and she did last year at Foxcliff. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th at the Brick House. Next Tuesday's Fat Tuesday. We will be at the Brick House on Main for Mardi Gras on Main. I think ticket sales have stopped at this point. You'd have to get a hold of Michelle for sure on that. Not as big as a turnout as we hoped, but there's two or three this year, two or three Mardi Gras events right during the week or the week of. And I'm like, yeah, it figures. So... Live and learn, but we're going to have fun with what we got. There's going to be some great food. I'm like, you know how far you'd have to go to get authentic food and pay for it? Authentic Cajun food and pay for it on Fat Tuesday. You could have paid the 50 bucks and had it right here in town. I had a good, good time, but is what it is. So we have a lot of things coming up. We have a lot of events uh, this Saturday or this Sunday, 7 p.m. I will have Artesian Little League in studio, Bill Hamilton. It's baseball, softball season. He will be on here talking about it. Uh,
getting information. I am on the uh, 4th of July parade committee, and that was just a text from them. So it never ends, folks. Trust me. Lots, lots of things going on. Uh, Burger Boys will be active again this Thursday. We haven't decided where we're going yet. I will be tracking that down this weekend. We have a few, few places here in the community still we'd like to hit. Um, I tell you what. It... Uh, Never ends. So we, what's up, Jeff? We will be uh, out and about Thursday somewhere. And I tell you, all three of the places we went to, Brain Chills, Gather Round, and Cedar Creek. You, you know, when we started to ask for like comparing burgers and stuff, all the burgers are good, and it's just different types of burgers. It's it, it's you as an individual what you like. I know what I like. Like I was telling Corey, I said, the burgers at Brain Chills reminds me of what my dad would cook on the grill when we were kids. We didn't have a fancy grill. It was a homemade jobby. But they're about that thick, and the grease would run down your arm, and the ketchup would soak through the bread, because we didn't do buns. And um, it was just really good. Really tasty, not very healthy for you burger. And I'm not, you know, criticizing, because that's what I grew up on. I liked them. That's what Brain Chills had. Gather round, had two patties that looked like um, steak and shake smash burger, burn around the ends, burnt bun, and th those were very good too. Very that Papaw burger burger was out of this world. Cedar Creek had something in between both of them. It was smash, but it was thicker, still tasty, and it was. I was shocked at the food that they had out there. Honestly, I did not expect that at Cedar Creek. I'm trying to get a team together. I don't play. I'm a hazard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but you know that doesn't matter on that day, Teresa. It's fun. Um, we do this one, and then we play in the uh, quarterback club or whatever one is for the high school football team in support of them. And those are two of my favorite days of the year, honestly. Um, I wish we could play in this one. But then it would be putting, running it, and doing all that stuff off on somebody else, and I don't want to do that. Um, it's a lot of work and last year Savannah got sick so she kind of went down then we lost a cart and some things went haywire so it takes everybody involved in it that day to get it going so we have a, a couple other people coming on to help this year so hopefully we'll pull it off without any hitches but it's a fun day it's a long day but it's worth every penny of it I will never forget Dean's son, um, some of the nice things he said about us. And, heck, he's been on with, um, I think, the Dan Dockett show. So he put it to good use. I have clients who live around the right. <clears throat> yeah, that may not be wise for you to play. You sell them a house and you knock a window out the following week. That's not, that's not good. And believe me, I don't like playing there myself because... Uh, I think I played it three times, and tw two out of the three times, somehow I made it in between houses without knocking, o knocking out a window, which was a miracle. But anyway, lots of stuff going on. Um, if you notice, winter returned today. Or hit their bins, right? That's something you don't want to do. Winter returned today. I think it snowed off and on today. Uh, but tomorrow, I think we're back in the 40s. So, spring's right around the corner. Spring is in the air. And I'm loving it. I'm, I like the cool temperatures of spring. 50s and 60s. And we're supposed to hit, get close to that. Middle of the week. Coming up. So, anyway. Sunday is in the 60s. There we go. Once again, um, try to get Carl in here tonight. He's got a lot going on. I had a lot going on. But it's the Morgan County Schools Bassmasters, I believe is what it's called. He has a meeting Tuesday night up there at his auction house. Get a hold of him. It's on his site. Look on his Facebook page. 
See if you can go to that meme. There's speak of the devil. Look at that. There's Carl right there. I think I think this will be a great thing for not only our community but our county. I know there's other schools in the county that have it, have done it, or in the state. And what Carl's trying to do is just phenomenal. I, I think that if they'd have had anything like this when I was a kid, I guarantee you I would have done it. I guarantee you I would have done it. I don't think you have need your own bass boat. Hey, Carl, no big deal, buddy. You're, you're busier than what I am, and that's, that's a shock. I, I think this, what you're doing, man, is just unbelievable. I wonder if I get something. I wonder if we could get something going to combine his group and Susan's fundraiser in the fall. Susan, I'm lost with the Susan part, Teresa. I know he's, he's got a lot of work he's got to do, I think, with all the schools in the county. Oh, the senior retreat. That I don't know. I, I that is, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know a lot about what has to be done with Carl. Um, what, what is needed from each school or, or what, what all it's going to involve, involve from students. I just like the idea and I think that if it could, anything we can do to help, certainly, um, I would be all for it. I don't know if it's funded by the state or individually or what. I think there's other county, other counties across the state. I'm pretty sure Monroe County, did they not have a, Monroe County, did they have a bass class, Carl? Or a fishing class or whatever it's called? That'd be, that'd be awesome. Let's go to Lake Monroe for the, for the day and go fishing in high school. <coughs> Sponsors funded. Well, there you go. Teresa was on it. Okay. That's a good, good point then. So, and would you be looking at eminence? I'll have to sit down with you on this. Is I want to make sure we can do whatever we can to help this, and I want to know the ins and outs of this. Definitely need to, and you definitely need to sit down. Because, uh, leave no stone unturned trying to get sponsors for that that's this is for the good of the community all schools so eminence monrovia martinsville more so that would be i like it i like it and i don't see why that can't be done um i don't know what the cost is i have to sit down i, I wish i could attend your meeting but unfortunately that is the same night as Fat Tuesday, and we will be at Mardi Gras on Main Street, which, I mean, I, I can't pass that up. That's, we, we went in conjunction with the Brick House on Main on that, so we'll be down there. But I do want to stay involved, and if I wouldn't have been there, I wouldn't have been at the Mardi Gras thing, I would have went there and went live and carried this for anybody that can't come. Um, certainly want to sit down with you, Carl, and go over all that, because I think that this this stuff is needed. My thing is this. I, I try to teach my kids soft or got them into sports, softball and stuff like that, and they played volleyball and some basketball. But it doesn't matter what your kids are doing, as long as you're keeping their mind busy, they won't slip through the cracks ninety nine percent of the time. We are working getting boats lined up. That's a big piece of it. we're also working on some bank fishing events as well. There you go. I like it. I mean, worst case scenario, you got the city park here in Martinsville. You got Sharma Estates. I don't know what the, I know this convenience there. Or not a convenience, what they call it. Out there, but I, I don't know if that's open to the city yet or not. Transparency. Um, I like it, Carl. Definitely going to get get with you in touch bases and see. I know you're gathering information as you're moving forward, and it's it's all. You're you're shooting for for next next fall, I would assume. Hello, Richard. I know there's a lot of people.
that have interest in this. When you posted that night, I bet you there were probably 20, 30 parents that said they want their kid, and I, I can only imagine your inbox. Anyway, that's big. We'll get with Carl. We'll get him in here. And outside of this next, this first event he's got Tuesday coming up at his auction house there, uh, the next one we will try to be there and go live or have him in here. We need to get him in here and talk about this and see what we can do and try to get some. We will try soon. We have some pros and semi-pros on board to help. That is fantastic, man. That is amazing, Carl. Now that is going above and beyond right there. And that is what this world needs more of, people like that. That is just phenomenal. Anything to do to keep these kids busy and maybe teach them something they could go make money in because the, the, the top guys in those pro tournaments, bass tournaments, do make, make a killing. Hello, Denise. And you know what? There's, there's probably most of them will never, without this chance, never get to experience some of the stuff they're going to. The way it sounds, what Carl's got right there with the pros coming in and all that. Hell, I'd like to go and listen myself. Why can't I catch the big ones? That's good stuff, man. I like it. We have the chess tournament coming up. Speaking of that, I will have him in here. Got that written down. Mr. Bill Pilot will be coming in to talk about that. That is a major, major event for our community. That is the state championship chess tournament, and those kids are phenomenal. We, we had them all in the studio once before. Probably going to do it again. Yeah, I, like, I like it when we, we you know, get back around to helping kids like this and, and what Carl's going on and what Bill's going on. It's good stuff. The world needs more of that. I cannot tell you enough how my, that makes me happy. I'll get with you, Carl. We'll do what we can. Um, I imagine you get a lot of support, and the more the merrier with that. Shooting for April start. That would be phenomenal. And hey, I'm not against going. One thing people don't realize too is bass fishing has quickly become a big college scholarship. I've heard that. That is, you know what? As long as you get to go to your college paid for and you go get a degree, it doesn't matter what what you how you got there. That is, I heard that. I'm going back to college. I'm going to go join college instead of, instead of going the way of the Army. Uh, that is phenomenal, man. Got to get him in here. Got to get Carl in here. I have so many questions shooting through my mind. We'll make it happen, Carl. And we'll help. We'll support you any way we can. And would love to... Um, perhaps go live at one of the events if it's allowed. I don't know if it's a school event or what, but I mean, we can do football games, we can do bass fishing tournaments. I wouldn't know why. That's, uh, that, is, that is so cool. I, I wish they would have had this when we were kids. I, I, is there, I know there's some schools that do archery and things like that. I, 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 I read that, I'm like, where was that at? Love that. Hunter Stout. Doing all right, Hunter. Thursday night, Burger Boys will be back at it. Hadn't got a location yet. I, I will post that when we find one. Uh, we haven't decided yet. Carl's on here. We're talking about the. I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even want to mess that up. I got to go to my page. The. Um, Morgan County High School Bass Masters. I love that. They will have a meeting Tuesday the 21st at 630 at the Midway Auctions Building out 554 West State Road 42 West of Mooresville there. So it's 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 a Carl's auction house out there. 630. So get out there. 
get the information, and start spreading the word. You know what? I know there's. I, I'm on here for. I'm looking for sponsors for my golf tournament. Doesn't take a lot to do both. It, it, we're not asking for a million dollars. Something like these. Our golf tournament is to help sponsor to get two scholarships for kids in Morgan County. He's doing basically the same thing, creating a class to help further their education in that field, and they could go to go to college and get a scholarship through that. So. Very cool. We'll get Carl in studio. We'll keep you updated on that. Go on his Facebook, follow his page, check out his information on that. Um, that's just a phenomenal deal. I think I hear my kid coming. Maybe not. Maybe it's doggy break. Anyway. That's all I had tonight. I just wanted to talk golf outing. Need sponsors. Need teams. Get a hold of me and I'll push you to Beth. Burger Boys next Thursday. Got Artesian Little League in here Sunday at 7. Carl and his crew have a meeting Tuesday at 6.30. Out of his place. St. Patty's Day, March 17th, Brickhouse on Main. Tuesday, Brickhouse on Main, Mardi Gras on Main. Keeps going. Got other events. Got other stuff coming up. I will announce them as we move forward. Don't forget, concert season starts May 20th out at Cedar Creek. Resurrection and Fancy Sauce. There's the pop. Logan, you don't want to come in on air with me? No, not tonight. All right, guys. Carl, appreciate you popping on. Um, I'll get with you. We'll get you in here, and we'll go into full detail, and we'll make a, a whole night of it here talking bass fishing, kids. I can see some shirts, and I know a guy's got a printer. I'm just saying. Big one of that. All right, guys. Love you guys. Have a Enjoy your, what's left of your Saturday evening. Friday evening. Saturday, gosh. Friday evening. I work too much lately. Hit the lotto. Um, probably going to be back on tomorrow night for a little bit. Probably go over some of the same stuff we talked about tonight. Uh, I want to keep this information flowing on, on what Carl's got going on. I love it. I love it. Got to get him some sponsorships. Golf outing is the 29th of April, Bill. Out at um, Foxcliff. 12 o'clock registration, 1 p.m. shotgun start. Third Excuse me, third year doing this, and we love it. And Doug's done a lot of work to that course. Cannot wait to get back out there. Love that area. And they did a phenomenal job last year. I think we had 22 sponsors or 20, 26 sponsors with 22 or 23 teams last year. And they handled it, piece of cake. And we had a stinking blast. And cross my fingers, every year we've been blessed with perfect weather. You're the mechanic out there? I did not know that, Bill. I love it. Love it out there. And, and it's nothing against Bluff Creek. We had it there the first year at Bluff Creek, and we just we're going to bounce around a little bit, but we've settled into with Doug and uh, Mr. Mullen out at... Uh, Mullen out at Foxcliff, and so we're probably going to be there a while. Try doing that there every year. Good times. All right, y'all. I got to run. Love you guys. Enjoy your Friday night. Thanks for tuning in, Carl. Thank you. We'll keep pushing it. Get some sponsors for Carl and get some sponsors for the golf outing. Love you guys. We will see you soon.